Hello guys and welcome back to Gaming Boulevards. So, uh, PlayStation released their uh, remote play app for uh, Windows and Mac. So, how well does it actually work? Let's check it out. Um, I'm doing this on a uh, MacBook Air 13 inch. Um, it's a 2011 one. So, it's pretty old. It's, it's not made for gaming. But let's see how it turns out with the app, shall we? So what you'll need is, of course, a PS4. You can have it at home or you can have it anywhere in standby mode. Uh, linked up to uh, Wi-Fi, of course. You'll need your uh, Mac or your PC. You'll need your USB cable, one like this, you know, the one that you use to charge this little thing up. And you just need to connect them. Let's do that right now. Here we go. Uh, always forgot the right side. There we go. Should light up like this. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. So right now, um, I've already downloaded the app. It's, uh, it, it's called PS4 Remote Play which you can uh, download at PlayStation's official website. Make sure you have the right one, the Windows one or uh, the Mac one. Um, and you just open it up and you're, you're ready, you know, you just go over here, preferences. Um, of course, you need to um, link up your account. You need PSM Plus to do this. You can choose your resolution. They support up to, uh, you know, from 360p to standard. This is the standard setting when you download the app. It's uh, 540p or you can go up to 720p. Let's do that. Just check it out. Of course, you'll need, you know, a strong connection if you're going to use the 720p one. Because it's a very demanding resolution for your Wi-Fi, especially when you're playing live, right? So uh, your frame rate, you can just leave it as standard, you know. Um, good. So much for preferences. Uh, let's check it out. Start it up. So it's basically looking for a PS4. And... You know, it's looking, it's looking, there we have it. Wow, okay, it's pretty quick actually. Uh, yeah, cool, okay. See the input is basically, it's really good actually. Let's check it out. Let's play some Battlefront. Let's maximize the screen as well. Oh wow. These neat little buttons here. This is your uh, controller battery life. You've got your share button right here, which you also have on your controller, of course. Uh, your PlayStation home button, your options, and this is just to like, you know, maximize your screen or just minimize it. Good. Let's have a look. So, you know, I haven't been playing yet, but there's no delay, almost no delay at all. It's pretty cool. Okay, let's check it out. Joining a game here. So I'm playing this on a Mac, which is... You know, it's crazy because it's it's not the best for visual experience. It's a MacBook Air, so it's basically your PS4 that does all the computing, all the work. It's like a, a stream, really. It's like watching Netflix. That's how much it strains your PC, which is not that much, actually.
still waiting to join the game, but this of course has nothing to do with uh, PS4 Remote Play. Here we go. Let's get started. Oh, this is actually quite good. There's almost no delay, nothing. Wow, holy shit. There you go, Vader. And I died. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at all the rest. You know, you have all your games, just like you would on your PS4. You have your messages, your friends, events, uh, parties. I'm not really sure. Uh, I guess it, it should work if you just, like, put in your mic right here. You should be able to use your parties. I uh, haven't been testing that out yet, but should work. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a great idea. I mean, it's free if you're a PS Plus user, PSN Plus user. So yeah, it's a great addition, uh, especially if you're abroad and stuff. You know, you can just link it up to your local Wi-Fi and then communicate with your PS4 that's at home, no matter if it's miles away or just three feet away, you know. Great addition, uh, good job Sony. Uh, probably gonna use this a lot, I guess. So guys, anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time at Gaming Boulevard.